Who remembers the movie Field of Dreams? What was the motto, <laughs> the tagline? Build it and they will come. How many of you have noticed that you've built your business? You put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. And it's, you've got a great product. You've got something wonderful everybody should want, but they're not coming. Well, in marketing, it doesn't work that way. This is how it works in marketing. Feed them and they will come. Um, I got that, I, it made me think of it, and you hear that expression all the time, content is king. I'm gonna show you in this video how you can get ideas to build content because that's how you're feeding your customers with content, knowledge, tips, all kinds of good stuff. If you keep feeding them, they're gonna keep coming. My husband told me a long time ago um, when, when we started getting pets, he said, you know, we were out on a farm and I'm thinking, you know, I grew up in the suburbs and I'm thinking you gotta, you know, put a chain around the dog's neck and put them, you know, in a fence and all that. And he says, oh no. He says, if you feed your animals and they know where to get their food, they'll come back. He said, they won't stray. And our animals don't. They stick around. We don't have any problems with anybody leaving. Um, we might have a predator come here once in a while, but it, basically our dogs stick around, the cats stick around, the chickens, the goats. Um, yes, we lock up the chickens and the, the, the goats at night, so the predators don't get them. But basically everybody comes back because we're feeding them. So feed them and they will come. So in this video, let me show you how you can do that. Now, before we jump into the content, I want you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. When you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every Tuesday and Friday when I put out a new video that's going to help feed you with content so that you will come back and you will remember when to come back. So go ahead and do those two things right now and then we're going to dive in and find out, give you some ideas of how you can come up with content to feed your audience so that they will come. All right, so let's jump in. I'm going to show you seven different ways that you can share your content. Now, I already assume that you have a niche. You already have your product if you're selling one or you're sharing exercise, health and fitness or whatever it is. So I want you to think about your niche and then think of these creation ideas of how you can get your content out. Does that make sense? So some of the things I'm sharing are going to be broad. They're going to be all over the place, but you've got to think about your niche and how you're going to think about these ideas within that niche. So let's go to number one. I'm going to give you seven different ideas. Um, number one is create a tutorial of your product. So here I just um, pulled up tutorial and obviously makeup tutorials are huge or fashion design, huge. But what is your niche? If your niche is in health and fitness, you can um, do something like a tutorial on how to do a squat properly. Or if you're um, selling an affiliate marketing product, it could be software tool. How to, here's a tutorial on how to use active campaign, a tutorial on how to use um, this new SEO product that I have. So think about your niche and how you can make a tutorial for that niche. Great video to put out or a great blog. It doesn't have to be just video, but video happens to be my platform that I use. So that's what I'm going to share with you. Now here is with tutorials, we're going to kind of count these two as the same. You can do a how to video, how to repair almost anything. The other day, my grandsons were out here and we were trying to fix a flat tire. My husband wasn't around, was working late that night. So we just hopped on YouTube, how to fix a flat tire. And we learned how to create um, use one of those plugs and, and do that. Now, were we perfect at it? No, um, but we had fun trying to figure it out. We had to go to the store, buy the supplies and come back and fix the tire. And then of course my husband had to come and fix it <laughs> properly. Um, we didn't get it in there quite right. But the point is how to videos are huge. How to train your dog to um, pee on a puppy pad, how to train your dog to sit, how to, um, Again, um, go back to the software tools. It is a tutorial, but you can also say how to use, uh, how to create a, a YouTube channel step-by-step. Step. That's a good one that you've probably already looked up. So how to, big, how to. All right, let's find another one. How about a review? How to create a review. So I just went ahead and pulled up how to create a review for ClickFunnels. And these are all the videos that came up. So it's a little bit more specific, but I wanted to show you how you can grab your product and do a review. So all kinds of reviews here on how to use ClickFunnels. And some of them come right out and say, 
Um, it's a review. Others is what is ClickFunnels? How to use it? Um, one year review. This person's giving their review of their experience with ClickFunnels. So even under the, the name or topic of review, you can do a review of your own product with different titles and go about it in different ways. So I want you to think of these topics that I'm giving you and actually write them down and do some brainstorming. Write down in the comments right now how you do your brainstorming um, when you're coming up with your ideas. Hopefully some of you are experienced and you have something to share with people that are just starting out. But that's what I do. I will take that topic. I will say um, how to review something and then I'll come up with five or six different ways to do it. And I have lots of different content. Now I won't put them out one after another, but I have those ideas listed and then I can say, okay, maybe once every eight weeks, that topic will come out in a different format if I find that that's something that people are looking for. So those are two different ways that you can come up with content creation. Let's try number three. This one is fun, tours. Number three is tours. Well, what do you mean by tours? You can do an office tour, show your audience what your office looks like and how you set up. I think sometimes when we're making videos, people will think, uh, they think they need to have an office studio. And I know some people's offices look that way. Um, I don't actually work in my office. My, right here, what you see, what I have set up is a little staged area in my bedroom. I have a huge bedroom um, and I used to have a guest bedroom that had two two beds in it and I took one of them out and I made up my office area because I like this gray wall. But there are people that literally um, have an office that they work from. I knew um, one, one um, YouTuber, he worked from his basement and it was funny because when you saw him on, online, it looked like it was all fancy and everything because he had a nice backdrop, but then he gave you a tour and he went, look, I'm in my basement because he had a family and the kids and the wife were upstairs and that was where he could go to work in a quiet spot. So it is, it is interesting and you do watch, you end up watching it because you're curious what are other people doing? But not only do you want to tour your office, but you could do a tour of your home. Once people, I love to see where people live and, and see their homes. We're nosy. We like to know those things. There is a video that I watched that um, a, a lady lived in a third world country and she was doing a tour of her, what we would consider maybe um, a shack, but that was her home. And it was actually kind of neat uh, where she lived in that in that third world country. And she had, she had a couple million views because we want to see how other people live. It's our curiosity. Another one that you could do is a an apartment tour. I, I watched the other day, a girl did a tour of her apartment in a high rise apartment building in New York City. I live in the country and I, I, I've i never been in a high rise apartment in New York City and it was so awesome. Her, her living room had windows from ceiling to floor and you could see New York City and I was like, oh my gosh, I'd be scared to death to live up there. I'm afraid of heights. But that's how she lives. So people are curious about things like that. So don't be afraid of plugging stuff like that in while you give some content in your video or or your or well we're just going to say in your video all right so that's three the next one is i'm going to say use numbers use numbers in your tips or whatever okay so here's an example um five tips and a lot of other things came up besides just the number but tips 15 beauty tips, 25 um, great tips to make your life more organized. People love numbers. Like today, I said seven tips or seven different ways of doing your content creation. And you're like, wow, I want to see that. It's actually more. I've just broken them into seven categories. And there's still a lot more out there. Um, I tend to get, I tend to steer away when I see 30 tips or 50 tips. To me, that's overwhelming, but some people like that. I like to keep my numbers under 10 or less. That's just me. Um, so that people can really write them down and use them. And then if I give more tips, I'll give, you know, maybe five to 10 more that are different than the first few that I gave. And, and that's a great way here. If you're in fashion, this person gave 26 fashion hacks. You could break that up into four different videos and just use a different number each time and just change your title a little bit. Um, <clears throat> five tips to land a software engineering job. So it's not just about products that people are selling. They're giving you ideas and different things like that. So let's stick with numbers. What other things can you do with numbers? We're going to stick with the number five because that's my favorite number. But how about five 
mistakes, five mistakes YouTubers make or five deadly uh, mistakes new YouTubers make. I just went ahead with um, new uh, five mistakes new YouTubers make, but I'm going to show you all the different videos, how people made a different title for that. So you might think, well, I'm not going to share that same thing. There's already videos out there. People like new content and yours isn't going to be exactly like somebody else's, but there's an example of all the different ways of you can have five mistakes. Maybe you have five mistakes you made when you first started your business or something like that. Five mistakes I made when I um, used my microphone for the first time or used my camera for the first time. Be, be explicit, more explicit about what those mistakes are about. First five mistakes you might make when you're putting eye makeup on. Um, five mistakes people make when they're doing a speech. It can be about anything. People like numbers and they like to talk about mistakes because they don't want to make those mistakes. You're saving other people um, time by sharing the mistakes that you made. Here's another one five best seo tools so five best tools in some areas so you might be a mechanic the five best tools to use when changing oil i don't know i'm not a mechanic but it can be with anything um so here's seo search engine optimization um but the five top seo tools and so on five best tools um another thing use the word best okay five best push-up techniques, five best hairstyles on a hot uh, summer, a hot day, um, five best clothing accessories that you can buy. So five best. So use that word best. And here, like I said, um, five best push-up exercises, five best techniques, five best variations. It goes on and on and on. So think that way and that's what i want you to write down the five using the word best or using a number using tools mistakes tips any of those things i do have them clustered all under number four but you could go on and on in those now i wanted to take a little break remember at the beginning of the video i said feed them and they will come and i'm really serious about that with the content if you feed them people will keep coming back because you're giving them something of value. That's what you hear a lot. And it works in everything. I've got a little video. I'm going to show you how I have my goats. Um, they come back all the time. I let them free range and I just ring a bell. They know when they see me, I've got a little green bowl that I use and they know that when they see me and I ring that bell, they come running. I'm going to give them a treat. They always know there's something there for them and they get excited. If they, if I kept ringing the bell and having them just come back and I didn't have something for them, some of value they would not keep coming back and as you're watching this video you can see that they keep that they come back that's all I did um, you can't hear it on the video but I rang a bell and I gave them something of value to them and they kept keep coming back and that's what I want you to do with your content I want you to think of different ways you're not a goat and you're not going to keep ringing a bell but I want you to think of different ways that you can give value to your customers to your audience and have them keep coming back all right, let's go ahead and jump in to another one. So the next one is tips and tricks. You can do tips and tricks for anything. Tips and tricks for new YouTubers, tips and tricks for um, new dog owners or tips and tricks for the new guitar player, um, whatever it is, but have something about somebody new within that, that um, niche that you have. And then make another video tips and tricks for the expert in the same area or for the person um, just starting a business, but you can kind of break it up into levels if you can do that with your niche and then have tips and tricks for those people in those different areas and different levels. Um, another one, number six is Q&A. So I went ahead and just did Q&A for new dog owners, right? Um, and look, this is what I came up with. Ask a dog trainer, episode one, 10 things. Um, now she has 10 things I wish I knew before getting a new puppy. I actually brought that up as number seven, but let's look in here. Preparing for a new puppy, expectations, um, 10 dog owner must haves. So these are all, um, if you look for Q and A, let's look for a different Q and A for new, um, let's do new YouTubers. Okay. There's you, new YouTuber stuff has lots of stuff out there, but a Q and A for new YouTubers. Um, a lot of people will do, there you go, 15 questions a new YouTuber might ask. Advice for new YouTubers. You might have, um, yeah, 25 questions. These are great. How about um, 
25 or 10 questions that you might ask about putting on new on makeup or something like that but you could do a q a which a lot of people do they do a q a as a live stream for youtube so they might um, have it scheduled ahead of time and just open up their channel where people can come and ask them questions and you'll get all kinds of questions live while you're sitting there and you can answer those for people and don't be afraid to say hey i don't know the answer to that but i will look it up and i'll get back with you don't be afraid to do it because you feel like you don't know everything because nobody knows everything somebody's always going to ask a question that you have to go research i get them all the time in my comments and actually it helps me to grow i can go research and come back with an answer and sometimes i even make a video off of that so q a's are great and then last but not least you see these all the time what i wish i knew when and that's a great way to especially after you've been making some videos or you've been in your business for a while what i wish i knew when i first started i laugh i have a friend and i that we started about the same time we actually met in a training and we laugh all the time what we did you know back in the beginning and what we wish that we knew then that we know now but that's just part of the journey that's part of the growth but then you can share those stories with people and let them know what i wish i knew when i first started out what i wish i knew when i got my first puppy you know a lot of times we think we know everything when we do something and we go um, out on a new journey and we don't we don't know everything and we learn as we go so those are seven ways that you can come up with creation i've um, i'll go ahead right now and list them here so that you can see them and and hurry up and take a snapshot if you didn't write them all down and now what i want you to do is go start brainstorming if you want to get out a notebook and write it down or open up an excel sheet and just start brainstorming some video creation ideas that you can come up with for your content now what i'm going to show you in my next video is how you can take one affiliate marketing product just one item and break that one item into more than one video um, at least I'll come up with at least five ideas maybe more I already have five so I say maybe more because by the time the video is created I might come up with more ideas but I want to show you how you can share one product and make several different videos sharing that product and there you go I've got a gift for you down below there's a checklist if you're looking at starting a YouTube channel or if you're not really sure you have all your things checked off and you've got all your steps then go ahead and get my free checklist below if you want to get in a little deeper and you want to learn how to do affiliate marketing on your youtube channel then i've got a free ebook for you there's a link below for that as well it's a little bit more lengthier it's 44 pages or so um, a lot to read but it definitely goes into everything that you need to actually start a business where some people just want to start a youtube channel so whether you want the checklist or the book We've got something for everybody. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Looking forward to it.